explain the process we go through uh, in doing a geophysical survey to find out what's beneath the surface without digging. So what I do is non-invasive, non-destructive. I'm not going to be excavating, I'm actually going to be doing surveys, finding features beneath the ground, and then it's up to the archaeologists to decide whether they need to excavate or not. Um, these days, what we, we try and do in archaeology is conserve. Because when you excavate, you're actually destroying what's there. You take everything out. You can't put it back the way it was. Um, so the possibility is of doing these remote sensing surveys, finding an area which is archaeological, and maybe just excavating a small part of it to confirm the geophysical results. And in your handouts there, you've got two sheets. One is on kite aerial photography, and the other one is on geophysical techniques. And I've got all the equipment that you have on your um, sheets there um, with you today. And I'm going to go through it slowly to prove to it and how it works. If we're looking at an archaeological site, we may decide that it might, a site that might be archaeological, there may be reasons why. Um, we decide that you should investigate a site. Maybe a farmer has ploughed up something. Maybe in Google Earth, Google Images from aerial photography, somebody spotted something. So we may firstly go and do some kite photography. Look a little closer to the ground. And I've got two examples here of kites in new thing that can be used very cheaply to do remote sensing, to, to, to see what's close to the ground but not as high as you 